Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I've got a sample review for you lot, but we ain't got one sample. We ain't got two samples. We ain't got three samples. We've got five samples to go through today. I'm gonna to do this as quick as possible. So if you're interested to see this review, stay tuned. Good YouTube, hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike, Michael, Mikey Clone and if you're tuned in, if you're stopping by, if you're new here, if you're a subscriber, thank you for tuning in. I do appreciate you taking your time out of your day to watch my content, so thank you. Yes, we've got five samples today. We've got one from Tio Cabanel called Oa. We've got one from Jack Fat. It is called Bell Amber. Yeah, we have got one from Montel and it is called U Pashmina. We've got another one from, oh no, hang on a minute. Oh, and we've got two from Mansara. We've got Vanilla Exclusive or Vanille Exclusive and we have French Riviera. We're literally just going to spray these, see what they smell like. If they're any good, I'm going to look up the notes but like I say, I'm going to do this as quick as possible. I'm not going to take up too much of your time. I've got loads of samples to go through. And I thought I'd pick five out of the bag. And we're just going to go for it. Don't know the notes on these fragrances. Haven't sprayed these fragrances. Like I say, this is first impressions. Or I think that's the first time I've said it. This is first impressions. We're just going to go for it. So first off, I think we're going to go for T.O. Cabanel Oa. Obviously, people, drop a comment down below if you've tried any of these. I don't know anything about these fragrances. Let me just show you. There is a sample. I believe this is at the, yeah, at the perfume concentration. I got this when I um, purchased. When you purchase a fragrance from T.O. Cabanel's website, they throw in four free samples. I mean, how good is that? If every fragrance house done that, that would be perfect. Because sometimes you order fragrances and you're lucky to even get one sample. So four samples, happy days. Right, as you can see, still full. We're just gonna go for it and spray it. Oh, that's strong. S straight off the bat, that's strong. Old school, vintage, floral. A little bit spicy. Oh, that is um, that is not for me at all. If you're in your hundreds or nineties, I think you could pull this fragrance off. <laughs> I'm joking, but it does smell like vintage and old school, and it is coming across floral to my nose. There's a little bit of sort of brightness up top, but it's quite a dense, heavy fragrance. God, that, that is not for me at all. I mean, I would not rock this. I wouldn't go near this with a barge pole. Not saying it's a bad fragrance. And everyone is different. Everybody likes different fragrances. Some people like the same fragrances. For me, this is a big pass. On to the next one. No, that's going in the trash, that is. Sorry to our Cabanel. I do love some of your fragrances, but that one, nah. Right, next we're going to go for Jack Fat Bell Amber. Let's give this one a go. I did receive this when I purchased Vetiver Grease. Fantastic fragrance. That smells so good. The review that I've done, all first impressions, the video hasn't got many views. 
and I'm not just saying this to get views on that video. I try and put you lot, the audience out there, onto bang up fantastic fragrances. I'm telling you now, people, if you've overlooked that, do not. Reverse, get yourself a sample of it because it is a fantastic smelling vetiver fragrance. I'm not going to go into it too much, but that is worth a pickup. I blind bought it. No regrets. I love that fragrance. Right, anyway, I'm getting carried away. We're going to go for Bell Ambra. Let's see what this one is saying. I'll take it. It's obviously got Amber in it by the name. God, these. God, you ain't getting a lot of juice out of that. I think this is broke. Yeah, it's going all over my hand. It's broke. God damn it. I've got it everywhere. Oh, it's gone all over the place. Fingers are covered. God, that's nice. That's very nice. Right, sweet. Definitely get the amber. There's a, there's a creaminess to this fragrance. A little bit of freshness up top. Sweet. It's got this creamy nature. I know exactly what's in this fragrance. I am detecting Iris or Oris, however you want to pronounce it. God, this smells, this smells very, very nice. Not heavy. Airy. There is a freshness to it. It's... It's warm and sweet, but there's a freshness there. That sort of ground in the fragrance. God, this is nice. I've got to look this one up. That is very nice. Obviously, people, let me know if you've tried this fragrance. I haven't tried many from the house, but like I say, Vetiver Grease, great fragrance. Right, let's look up the notes of Belle Ambra. Right. Juniper berry, black pepper, lemon, bergamot. So there is some freshness there. Oris, caraway, white flowers, amber, leather, vetiver, musk. Mm, I do get kind of a little bit of a woody nuance in the back. I wouldn't have known it was vetiver. It, to me, it could have been cedar. It's got a bit of a woodsiness to it. Got this creamy nature. You definitely get the oris. You get the amber, but like I say, it's not heavy. It's it's not dense. It's not a thick amber fragrance. It's just light, airy, smooth. Great smelling fragrance. I really like that. That's nice. That is really, really nice. Right, on to the next one. I told you people, I'm going to do this as quick as possible. All right, let's go for the knee exclusive by Mansara. Let's make sure I've got a clean test strip. Let's just spray it up. A few sprays. Fruity. Peach. Sweet. Fruity. Fruity peach. Sweet. Vanillic. Musky, fresh. This is nice. I like this. It's got a little bit of a. It's got a little bit of a bitey green sort of nuance to it. Like not quite bitter, but a bit of bite. To me, this is more of a feminine fragrance. I ain't gonna lie to you, by the name, Vanille Exclusive, I thought this was gonna be like a heavy vanilla fragrance because Mansera's and Montel's, they make some heavy, sort of loud projecting fragrances. 
This is nice. To me, this is definitely leaning more on the feminine side. I believe that fellas can wear this, but this is coming across more like a spring summer fragrance, but you could wear this all year round. I think this is an all year round fragrance. Like I say, I'm definitely I'm getting touches of vanilla, but this is to me. This has definitely got peach in it, and that is the dominant player at the minute. And there's something green lurking in the back. I'm intrigued. I'm going to look up the notes. Let's have a look. Let's see what's in this fragrance. It's nice. It's pleasant. It is. It's smooth, but like I say, it's got a bit of bite to it. I don't know where that's coming from. There's definitely something green in this fragrance. Right. Osmanthus, white peach, whipped cream, brown sugar up top. Then you've got Indian, Indian tuberose, sorry, violet leaf, Egyptian jasmine. And in the base, you've got Madagascan vanilla, white musk, amber, woodsy notes. You do get them floral touches. You definitely get the peach. The vanilla is there, but it's in the back. As it settles, the vanilla might come out more. The Osmanthus... I believe is helping that peach, sort of pushing that. It is sweet. It's a nice fragrance. Would I buy it? Yes. That is nice. I've got about 14 or 15 Manseras, like 420 ml bottles. I love the house. Some people will say it's the gateway to niche fragrances. To me, I think that they do some bangers. They don't just sit there on my shelf. There's a few Manseras. I think it's black gold or gold black. I believe it's called that. I don't really reach for that one that much. But apart from that, I always reach for my Manseras. I think they're great. But when you've got a big collection, like sometimes you just want to wear one fragrance, but then I'm testing fragrances, so it's hard. But anyway, I'm rambling. That is a nice smelling fragrance. Drop a comment down below if you've tried it. Right, next we are going for Montel Oud. Pashmina. I don't know if you can even see that. Let's spray it. Let's see what this one is all about. A few generous sprays. Oh, man, this is filling the air. God, this is quite strong. It's an Oud Rose combo. God damn it. Musky, Rose, Oud. Yeah, they do so many concoctions, so to speak, with Rose and Oud. It gets a little bit tiring. Like, I'm not saying that I dislike the fragrance that I'm smelling. It's just where they do so much of it, it's like change it up a little bit maybe. It's nice, it's pleasant. It's just a musky, oud, rose combination to my nose. It's pleasant. It's nice. Winter fragrance. Not bad. Now yeah, I'm going to pass because, like I say, I've got, a, I think I own 13 or 14 Montels as well. So I've got quite a few fragrances with rose and oud in it from the brand. It's nice. It's pleasant. That's going to be a pass for me. Obviously, drop a comment down below if you've tried that one. Right, we're on to the last one. I've dropped the sample, so I'm going to go and pick it up. Oh, I've dropped them all. Right, sorry about that. French Riviera. Last one from Mancera. Let's do it. I take it this is going to be summer, maybe, spring-summer fragrance. It's nice. Citrusy. Bit of quag. I know I'm going like that. It's because I'm trying to smell it in the air before I smell the test strip. Because sometimes, I don't know, sometimes you can pick up other notes in the air than what you can on test strip. It's the same as on skin. Sometimes fragrances smell better in the air than what they do on skin and vice versa. Sometimes they smell great on skin, they smell a little bit funky in the air, so I try and get a bit of both. 
It's nice, pleasant, aquatic, minerally, citrusy, a little bit sweet, fresh, clean. Very nice for spring and summer. That's a nice fragrance. French, is, yeah, French Riviera. God, that's nice. That is nice. Mm, I've got fragrances that do similar to that. It is nice. If I didn't own any fragrances that sort of do that thing, well, we'll look up the notes now, and I smell that, I would pick it up. But as I own a lot of fragrances like that, that is quite redundant for me to even consider picking up a bottle of it. Right, let's look up the notes. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Right, got the notes. Orange, tangerine, ginger, lemon and pepper in the top. Sea notes, pine tree, vetiver, tierra flower, mimosa in the mid and in the base you've got sea salt, white musk and amber. Yeah, it's aquatic, minerally, a little bit salty, fresh, citrusy, clean. It's a nice fragrance, but like I say, to me, that would be redundant this point in time to even consider picking a bottle of that up. Right, people, that was five samples, first impressions. Some of them not bad. That T.O. Cabanel, not going to lie, that is no way for me. To me, that is like more of a vintage, old school, uh, lady, feminine fragrance. Maybe if you was in your 50s or 60s, and don't take offence to this if you're watching it and you love the fragrance. This is my own personal opinion. I That's the washing machine you can hear in the background. That is just my own personal opinion. <coughs> I wouldn't touch it of a barge pole. I really wouldn't. Ooh La La from T.R. Cabanel I love. Jin Sun Kwa I love from the house of T.R. Cabanel. The new one that I've done a review on. Ain't bad. Leans a little bit feminine. That one, hell no. Right, people, thank you for sticking with me. Let me know which ones you've tried out of these fragrances. Let me know which ones that you would try or you own and you think is great from the house of Teo Cabanel. I'm looking to dive more into that house and I just want to hear your thoughts on it. So drop a comment down below. I always read and reply to your comments. Sometimes it takes a day or two because sometimes they don't upload straight away. Like, or if a good few comments come in and then sometimes it only shows a few and then a day later, it will show me a few more and they will say, posted 22 hours ago. And I think to myself, I didn't see that. So, but I'll always get back to you. If it's a day late, I will always get back to your comments. Drop a comment down below, like, comment, subscribe. Remember people, smelling goods, always a pleasure and never a chore. And I will definitely see you lot on the next one. Cheers and thank you for the support.